Hello, Professor Bonebright. My name is Sarah Johns, and I am here to present my strategic social media digital marketing plan regarding the company Badger Balm. And I think it's important to give a little bit of the history and how the company started in order to move forward because that has been such a driving force of how the presentation came together. The company's founder is Bill White, and he started this company back in the 1990s, and he is just a great man. He was a carpenter working in harsh winters in New Hampshire back in the 90s, and he came up with this mixture of olive oil and beeswax because his hands were cracking and found out that it worked so well that he decided to invest into it and started selling it to local hardware stores and that ended up turning into a company that is today 23,000 square feet uh, for their manufacturing facility. And they have over 100 employees, make so many great products, and they generated over 17 million in um, annual revenue. So what started out as a necessity and a need the heart of the company just has flourished from there. And the reason why it's so important to talk about that for the founders is because that mission and that value for their company of staying economically friendly and using only organic source products has been the theme and the mission and the value that's very important. So that was taken into consideration as I was doing my research for this company. Uh, our target market is going to be young parents. And one of the uh, products that Badger Bomb does extremely well is all of their products are done extremely well, but one of them is their organic baby line products. And especially with summer coming up, um, emphasizing that sunscreen and all of the great organic baby products when it comes to like diaper rash. Um, so that was kind of some of the reasons why I decided to target um, this market with young parents. And so for the demographics and the psychographics, um, of our young parents here. Their age range is going to be between 23 to 33, and the income is going to be between 50 to 75,000 annually. They live in rural suburban neighborhoods, um, and this is important because they really value family, health, community, being outside in summer, and are very environmentally conscious. So they're really fitting with the value and the mission of Badger Balm anyway to begin with. So it's gonna be a very cohesive target audience that is going to generate some great um, goals and objectives moving forward. Um, as far as religious and political status, it's not necessarily taken into consideration or felt like it's um, needed in order to move forward with our target audience. So here are some of the current consumer statistics in the age range of our target audience regarding Instagram. The 18 to 29 age group is the most active on Instagram and 54% of people have made a purchase after seeing a product or service on Instagram. So this is a very valuable digital marketing tool for Badger Bomb. In March of 2022, um, there is a percentage of 25.4% of Facebook users in the United States are in the ages of 25 to 34. Um, so that's going to be another valuable asset. Um, as far as Twitter, there are 211 million um, users in the 18 to 29 demographic which is really big. And then 21.2% of users on YouTube are in between the ages of 25 to 34. So I've given you the current consumer statistics regarding the target audience age demographic. Um, and then I wanna go into specifically some of those for Badger Balm um, and our plan moving forward with that. So for Instagram, Badger Bomb currently has 56,000 followers. Um, and so for some of our goals for Instagram, we're hoping to see a 10% increase in likes by the end of the first quarter, a 25% increase in followers by the end of the first quarter, a 30% increase in visual content that is being um, distributed by the end of the first quarter, 
and a 15% increase in sales from those objectives and goals by the end of the first quarter coming from Instagram. Our next um, outlet's going to be Facebook. Um, so for Badger Bomb currently on Facebook, they have 36,000 followers. Um, and for our goal though, for Badger Bomb regarding Facebook, we're wanting to see a 10% increase in brand awareness and traffic to the actual website of Badger Bomb by the end of the first quarter. We're wanting to see a 10% increase in new leads by the end of the first quarter a 15% increase in likes and followers by the end of the first quarter, and then a 5% increase in sales through pop-ups and promotional ads by the end of the first quarter with Facebook. Um, moving on to Twitter. So Badger Bomb has struggled with Twitter currently. Um, and so we're hoping that we can help them generate some better content and some better leads from Twitter. Um, they currently have 11.78 thousand followers, but that has been on the de decline. Um, so for our goal, we're really wanting to see a 30% improvement over tweets by the end of the first quarter, um, since this has been on the decline, an 8% increase in target audience feedback by the end of the first quarter because that feedback from our target audience is going to be valuable, giving us that information on how we need to um, readjust some of our objectives or goals moving forward. So that communication piece um, coming back to us is going to be important. And then also a 15% increase in community engagement and traffic by the end of the first quarter regarding Twitter. So for YouTube and Badger Bomb, um, Badger Bomb does uh, have content and there are beautiful videos that they have compiled and put together, but that's something just because YouTube is such a massive platform in the digital marketing of visual content um, space, we want to hit that as well. So for our goals regarding YouTube, we're wanting to see a 15% increase in traffic to the website by the end of the first quarter that is tracking through YouTube, and then a 15% increase in shareability and wanting our target audience to be communicating and sharing our videos with each other, um, a 25% increase in actual views by the end of the first quarter, and then a 5% increase in product sales generated from YouTube by the end of the first quarter. And so for the last uh, tactic that I'm going to be talking over is going to be blogs. Um, and again, Badger Bomb has done some beautiful blogs and they are actually on their website. And I've shared a few examples of some of the blogs because they're so environmentally conscious and always looking after um, organic um, ingredients to make sure that their products are um, very environmentally safe and conscious and not only for the earth but for the body um, that's been very important to them with their their mission and their value and so that they're they're very involved in the community in that sense and they have some great blogs and information regarding that but that content will also help take them to that next level so for our goals uh, for Badger Bomb regarding blogs, we want to see a 5% increase in quality and content by the end of the first quarter, 10% traffic generated leads to the website, and a 15% increase in communication of values and mission and environmental engagement with the target audience by the end of the first quarter, because not only product push, but environmental issues is so important to the company and the owners that that is going to help keep them engaged and wanting to move forward to give them the best results possible. Um, and then in conclusion, I wanted to just finish in a way with how I started and I wanted to read um, Badger Bomb's mission. Um, Badger Bomb's mission is we're on a journey to create a healthier world. We are inspired to make healing products and run a healthy business where money is the fuel and not the goal. 
where fun is encouraged and where we cultivate good through actions and advocacy. And so as far as the goals and the objectives in order to help take Badger Bomb to the next level in the market space, we're wanting to increase some of their digital marketing tactics and we have some goals and objectives for that, but we're making sure that we keep their value and their mission um, number one as we do that. So thank you very much for your time and I hope that you have a wonderful blessed day.